You know, it's been a pretty quiet week as it is typically at majors. Uh, we had a couple guys come in for the usual tweaking here and there. We did a couple of re-grips. Brandon Grace had uh, some master edition golf ride grips that we put on his clubs. Uh, checked his loft and lies. There were a few other guys who came on. We did uh, loft and lies with them. Another re-grip. And uh, I know Sang Moon Bay came on looking for a hybrid gap to fill. He, he took a couple 20 degrees out of here. One was like an 18.5 final lock, the other was like right around 19. So he's clearly trying to fill a gap for the second shots on the par fives. And uh, you, know, you know, possibly if the wind picks up and some of these par fives get lengthy, you're going to have some of these 225, 230 shots. So that 20 degree hybrid will come in handy. Um, other than that, it was really kind of a quiet week. We did build a couple of the uh, the new Mac Daddy 2 PM grinds, the Phil Mickelson grind. Uh, it's really kind of catching on. There's a lot of buzz about it. It's a very unusual looking club, but super effective. The grooves go all the way up the entire face of the, the, the club, allowing for bunker shots where you know, you're more across it and you get that sand splash that kind of moves up the toe. Now you're catching a groove the whole way, so you can really spin it big time out of the bunkers. Even tight lies, it's good. I messed around with it last week and out of the rough, it was phenomenal. But So we did build uh, two that I know of outside of our staff of guys that, that maybe played with either Phil or a couple other of our staff players that have these clubs that wanted them. But uh, that was about it. A lot of the guys will mess with spin rates on the drivers that want to uh, maybe add a bit of spin because typically here it is a little soft and it's all about the carry distance. You need to carry these hills, catch the down slope like on 10 to get max distance out of it. So they're, they're tweaking drivers and tweaking wedges. Uh, big short game week, guys are wanting spin, maybe some are wanting to add a gap wedge. Um, to, to really uh, get the most out of these scoring holes. There's not a lot of birdie opportunities on these golf courses, as anybody knows who's ever watched this tournament. So you've got to kill these par fives with a couple of shorter holes, and if you don't kill them, you're not going to have a chance to win. So that's kind of what they've been messing with. And you know, there's been the odd, maybe a utility iron or hybrid club, um, maybe for a tee shot or, or like these second shots uh, into the par fives like we talked about. He wants to for sure hit the longest tee shot on that first shot of the day. But you know, he comes on here, his enthusiasm and uh, his knowledge about not only modern day equipment, but the modern day swings and nutrition and the physical um, working out that goes into these guys' daily routine. It was really cool. And he had, there must have been 20 of us on this truck yesterday and were just glued to every word he said. And he held court for about 30 minutes. He does it every year, and it's really a cool thing. We know when he's coming, and we make it a point to not miss him.